Hey everyone, welcome back to Lunch Breaks with John. I'm your host, John, and we're gonna be starting my lunch break. You can um, you can actually watch me eat. I know some of you may not wanna watch this, but let me first show you what I have here. I have leftovers from last night. We went to Outback Steakhouse. So, got some steak there. We got some Miss Vicky's Smokehouse Barbecue chips kettle chips those are really good um and then a bottled water and mountain dew baja blast zero sugar so uh this is not really i mean the drinks and the chips that's probably kind of a typical lunch for me but um uh, obviously i don't have steak every day for my lunch so <clears throat> i may show you another video with um one of my more regular lunch uh, lunches that I take but for now you'll get to you get to watch me if, as I eat my steak so I'm sorry if you don't like to watch <clears throat> if you don't like to watch people eat I'm gonna try the best I can not to make any gross chewing gum flapping noises any things like that but The show is called Lunch Breaks with John, so I figured I'd actually let you guys join me for lunch someday, or on this channel, you know. So I figured, why not do that on this episode? <clears throat> so, funny story. When we went to Outback yesterday, we went there be um, <clears throat> because I had a coupon that I used. I got from, or I got a gift card from some different points and things that we have at our work that we can redeem for uh, different prizes and gift cards and stuff. So I had one that I thought I used before, but it was still showing up on my phone under Google Pay. So I was like, huh, okay, I got $50 I can use. Well, turns out we it had actually already been used, and I don't know why it's still showing on my phone, but um, anyway... Still got a good meal out of it. Just had to pay a little bit extra, more than we were expecting. But I don't think I, I don't think I ever ate asparagus. As I'm sorry, this is probably not the the right way you're supposed to eat asparagus. But <clears throat> but I never ate it growing up, so I don't know what the proper way to eat it is. I just kind of take bites off the stick of it, but. I didn't think I would like asparagus since I had never tried it before as a kid. But over the past, well, I mean, I think I tried some probably for the first time. It was either around the time I got married or slightly before that. Uh, actually, that, yeah, I think it was before that. I think one of my roommates, one time when he was grilling, made some steak and asparagus and stuff like that. So I really like it. But anyway, continuing on the story. So we got to Outback last night. We were seated pretty quickly. We, I mean, there was no wait for seating or anything like that. But I don't know um, if the host just didn't communicate with the the waiter or if he just... We were kind of in a hidden little spot in the corner. It was kind of hard to see because there was another... There was kind of a little barrier or wall between us and the kitchen where the servers come from and stuff like that so um <clears throat> we were waiting for we had our menus that the host gave us but we were waiting there for probably seven or eight minutes before um a waiter even noticed us it might have been more like 10 minutes but he was like super apologetic i mean he was very kind um he was like how long have y'all been waiting i was like oh maybe seven minutes i was like i I didn't make a big deal about it or fuss over it. I used to work in food service, so I I understand that um, <clears throat> I understand how it can be stressful at times when there's short staff and things like that at restaurants. So I I, I normally just it doesn't bug me unless like I'm getting absolutely terrible service. But 
But I mean, he redeemed it with good customer service. He gave us extra. He gave us two loaves of bread at the beginning instead of just one. A lot of extra butter. I'm pretty sure that the appetizer we ordered was not supposed to be as big as it was. We ordered some cheese fries and it was like a huge plateful. I thought normally they had it in like a small skillet or something, but I was like, I can't, I can't complain. I mean, he's, he's doing the work to earn his tip. Um, especially since we had to wait and it was very attentive, but guys, I think he, I think he apologized. Like, I know it was over 10 times, probably 15 times. He kept saying like, oh, again, I'm so sorry you had to wait. I'm so sorry you had to wait. And I kept saying, dude, it's good. You're, you're fine. And <clears throat> it was just, an, it was an interesting experience. He was a good guy, but he was, I think he said it was his first month working there or something, or he had only been working there for about a month. So um, he was like, I'm really sorry. This is, he's like, this is, he's like, was, that was unprofessional that you had to wait this long and everything. I'm like, I mean, seriously, it's it's fine. Like, it's not a big deal at all. But anyway, it was. We got good customer service with that, and the only bad part was having to pay for our full meal and appetizer and everything. But it was worth it though, especially getting to have steak for lunch. So I can't really complain. So, what's new in the world? Tell me about your comment about anything. Maybe stuff I've talked about on here. Or on the previous episode. Or anything that you may want to see in future episodes. <clears throat> want to do a shout out to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. And who watched my first video. I honestly wasn't expecting even half of the amount of you that did subscribe. Um, I wasn't expecting as many views as it as it got. I'm really I'm really more just doing this as a, a little bit of a vocal exercise, getting more comfortable with. Um, there's a quote that someone used to, they used to say a lot at my old. Um, my old job, the previous bank I was working for, one of the senior um, management people, district managers, something like that. He, he always used to say, "Get on or get comfortable with getting, get comfortable with getting uncomfortable, or be comfortable getting uncomfortable, something like that." So that's kind of the idea behind this little show is I'm, I'm not naturally a very um, outspoken person. I don't do a lot of public speaking or anything like that, but I want to, I want to get better at it. Um, I want to get more confident speaking in front of more people and everything like that. And a lot of the stuff I have to do in my and my job is sort of sales related, so I feel like this will help with kind of boosting my confidence in talking and everything like that. So that's kind of part of the reason I'm starting this, but thank you again for those of you who have watched the video, for for those who, who have liked it, and for especially for those of you who have subscribed. I don't know who all of you are, but I know who a few of you are, and thank you for those of you who who I asked to subscribe and you subscribed, and then thank you again for those of you who have it. <clears throat> if I don't know you and you've subscribed to my channel, I would really like to hear from you in the comments. Uh, just maybe let me know briefly how you found this channel, what you like about it, what you don't like, um, any constructive criticism that you would that you have to offer. Um, all that would be greatly appreciated. <clears throat> Sorry, Liesl, if you're, you probably just skipped through 
this whole, the whole first at least 10, 10 to 12 minutes of this video just watching me eat. <clears throat> but it's kind of what the idea of the channel is about. Now, I'm, now you're not going to be watching me eat every, every one of these episodes, but, <clears throat> but I probably, gonna, I probably am going to be doing some food reviews, maybe trying out some new restaurants in the area or new types of, um, new products, new, new food items that restaurants come out with, um, do reviews on things like that. The sky's the limit, you know, it's, it's the beginning of the show and anything could happen. So, <clears throat> Okay, you probably won't. You probably you may not watch me eat the chips on this video. They're super crunchy and loud, and I know that can be annoying to watch. Just, um, I'm I'm a person that um, <clears throat> if someone around me is crunching really loudly, like I just have to sometimes plug my ears or walk in a different room. Or um, it's just so I, I, I'll 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 save you from that um, from that headache and that. <laughs> that trouble <clears throat> so we'll talk a little bit more about um, just kind of been what's been going on in my life I've, um, this is my second week at my new job that I started uh, the first three days uh, today's Thursday when I'm recording this um, but Monday through Wednesday this week I was going through teller training um, which they did that at a separate location. They did that at one of the main bigger branches or, well, it's not their headquarters, but it's like their, where most of the higher up managers work and everything like that, where they have all the, a lot of the human resources departments and stuff like that. So I went there to train today. I mean, not today, uh, this week. It was very informative training, very helpful. Um, I kind of wish that I had, that they had had that kind of training at my previous bank. Um, I did get some, um, I did get some good training from where, the branch where I originally started at and everything as far as teller stuff goes. But I feel like whenever I got promoted to a banker, <clears throat> it was a little bit lacking. Well, I transferred to a different branch because my old branch closed and then there was just super short staff and then, um, not short height wise, but short people wise, <laughs> um, stupid dad joke there. Um, anyway, um, but we had, uh, yeah, it was a little bit lacking in the, in the training for doing like loans and account openings and, um, things like that. Some of it I already knew, but, um, I feel like they weren't very in-depth on it. And I'm glad that I'm working for a bank now that really is uh, strongly focused on training and development and making sure that we know all of our procedures and policies and um, things like that before we're actually just, before we're running transactions and opening accounts and all that kind of stuff. It's good to know the kind of stuff um, or that kind of stuff beforehand instead of just going off of what your coworkers tell you in the moment and stuff like that. So having actually a, um, an official training set, um, set of a few days with, uh, set aside for training was very helpful. <clears throat> okay. I know some of you are probably getting bored by now, so we'll stop talking about work. Let's talk a little bit more about, um, some movies and TV and everything like that. I watched the third episode of Loki yesterday, which was uh, really good. Um, some controversial stuff in there, um, but we won't go into that. Um, I know some people are um, kind of upset about it, but I, I don't really let that stuff bother me. It's, it's Hollywood. It's you know, they they can do what they want. Um, <clears throat> I'm still gonna watch it as long as it's, um, you know. 
nothing extremely inappropriate or whatever. <clears throat> and, oh, some other good movies we saw recently. We watched, my wife and I saw A Dog's Purpose for the first time last weekend. And I really enjoyed that. It's a very heartwarming movie. Um, it's about a dog who, um, it, it came out a few years ago. You may have seen it, but a dog that <clears throat> he reincarnates each time he, um, uh, passes away and he reincarnates into a different dog, a different breed of dog, um, and winds up at, a, um, with different owners and things like that. But the one owner he had for a very long time when, um, there was like, I guess one of the main characters in the movie, he loses him as he's going to college or whatever. He dies shortly after that. Then this dog, you know, goes through several different owners after that, has different breeds of dogs and everything. And then, but at the end of the movie, he reincarnates and finds his original owner. Now that he, bear in mind, he's a different breed of dog when he meets the owner. So the owner doesn't realize that it's, that it's him or anything like that, but he winds up bringing his owner back to his high school sweetheart. They, they had, um, parted ways a long time ago, um, and brings them back together. They get married and a uh, very happy ending. And later the owner realizes that it was his dog that whole time. So, um, it was, it was a very nice movie. Sorry. I probably just spoiled it for you if you've never seen it, but, <laughs> um, should have given maybe I'll put a spoiler alert earlier if I can figure out how to edit that into the video um <clears throat> there was another movie we watched Mortal Engines it was pretty good it was more of a um action post-apocalyptic type of movie um Directed by, I think the, I think it was Peter Jackson, or at least some of the producers or directors that directed Lord of the Rings. So it had very good special effects and a unique plot line and everything. Um, so that, that was pretty good. I uh, wouldn't say it's one of my favorite movies, but it's worth watching. Um, anyway, I'm probably it's probably about time that I need to wrap this video up, but um, just want to say thank you again for. For listening if you made it through this whole video and um, if if you haven't subscribed to this channel or anything uh, I encourage you to subscribe um, encourage you to like my video to boost the algorithms and if you're on your lunch break enjoy the rest of your day uh, keep working hard and um, but get some relaxing time on the rest of your lunch break and uh, join us next time on lunch breaks with John thank you goodbye